Andrew, how's your holiday in Asia going? Moichido, boku wa Andoru desu. Uh, fantastic. Hello to you, it's Tuesday, and thank you for choosing to tune into Crypto Espresso, your one stop shot for all the latest coin market cap headlines. I'm your stand in host, Connor, and it's quite appropriate given our top story is about the UK. Here in London, we now have our third Prime Minister this year, and he's pretty pro-crypto. Rishi Sunak has previously expressed ambitions of transforming the country into a global hub for crypto assets. When he was Finance Minister back in April, Sunak unveiled plans to make stablecoins a recognised form of payment in Britain. But his news that the Royal Mint would release a non-fungible token was described as tone-deaf. Sunak has become one of the richest British Prime Ministers in history and has an estimated net worth of $823 million. He's also the country's first Hindu PM and, aged 42, the youngest leader for over 200 years. Given the multiple crises that the UK is facing right now, crypto-friendly policies are unlikely to be at the top of his agenda. In other news, two Chinese intelligence officers have been accused of attempting to bribe a US government employee with a Bitcoin payment. They allegedly sent $41,000 in Bitcoin in an attempt to steal files about a criminal investigation into an unnamed global telecoms company. While the defendants believed their contact had been recruited to work for the People's Republic of China, they were actually a double agent with the FBI. It's claimed that the double agent had been asked to find out which of the company's employees had been interviewed by the government and obtain a description of evidence, witness lists and trial strategies. If convicted, the man who sent the Bitcoin transfer could face 40 years in prison. Now, it's pretty frustrating this keeps happening. Yet another crypto project has abruptly announced that it's halting withdrawals following in the footsteps of Celsius Network and Voyager Digital. Freeway had enticed users by claiming they could earn up to 43% in yearly rewards through things called superchargers, simulations of major crypto and fiat currencies. But the platform has now suspended its services in response to what it describes as unprecedented volatility in the markets. In a statement, Freeway said it was diversifying its asset base to manage exposure to future market fluctuation and volatility, ensuring the long-term sustainability and profitability of its ecosystem. Freeway token has fallen by 81% over the past seven days, and it's a powerful reminder that if something looks looks too good to be true, it probably is. Finally today, Sam Bankman-Fried has announced he will compensate phishing victims to the tune of $6 million, even though the attack didn't target FTX directly. On Twitter, he explained that a trading bot provider called Three Commas had been targeted. This meant users ended up visiting a fake version of its website and handed over their FTX API key. Sam Bankman-Fried warned this sucks and the industry needs to do more to tackle phishing attacks. And in capital letters on Twitter, he stressed this payout is a one-time thing and not a precedent. He also appealed to the scammer directly and said that if 95% of the funds were returned within 24 hours, they wouldn't face criminal action. That would mean a $300,000 profit for the attacker. Well, that's your lot for this helping of Crypto Espresso. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel, clicking on that snazzy little bell icon for a notification every time we post something new. And if this caffeine hit hasn't been enough, ask Alex for more by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Andrew, should I do it again tomorrow? Sayonara. Great. See you then.